Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is secret number two. So we're talking about sort of pro goalie secrets and, and I'm going to share 10 of them over the next 10 days. So if you missed uh, day one or secret number one, uh, look on IGTV, it's in there or, or check back in YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube and check that out. That was secret number one. Secret number two is that Pro goalies build usable strength. So, you know, and even they're like you when they grew up and were younger, you know, they just wanted to be strong and lift as much as they could. And they loved the leg press because you could put all those plates on it and do your leg press and then just walk away for some other sucker to take all the plates off again. But, <laughs> but as they get, you know, higher and higher in their career, they realize, okay, I need to build strength that actually translates on the ice. You know, they've had enough off seasons and maybe you've had the same where they've worked really, really hard in the gym and they've come back on the ice and yeah, like maybe I feel a little bit better, but it's, it doesn't feel like a lot of return for all the energy that I put into it. So they start looking for a different way or, you know, sort of working with strength coaches who understand what goalies need to do on the ice and can design programs for that. So, you know, that's a big shift that they make in their career. And the ones who don't make it in their career, you know, sometimes get to that level, but then just kind of plateau or, or sort of peter off. They never actually play to their potential, which is kind of sad. So keeping in mind, I'm doing this series during the COVID outbreak, if you're watching it down the road. So I'm trying to make everything really usable and something that you can do at home without any equipment or very little equipment. So today we're gonna go into a little body weight circuit. It might seem pretty basic for you, but um, it's all good stuff. And I'll explain kind of how even like a push up, how even that is gonna help you out on the ice and I'll put it all together for you so that you'll have a neat little home workout that you can do starting today. So this is Maria from goalietrainingpro.com. I better get in my workout kit and we'll head down to the lab and get you started. Okay, so we're ready to get started and we are going to actually start with a push up, which you might think, oh gosh, I can do push ups. But when I work with goalies at camps, uh, I see push ups <laughs> being done, but it's like, that's not really a push up. So we're gonna take the time because when you do it properly, uh, great upper body pushing exercise. So chest and triceps would be your, your main muscle groups that you're using, but also you have to stabilize through your torso. You have to stabilize through your hips. You have to have that awareness to keep that nice sort of neutral position through your body. That's what, by definition, core stability is keeping that stable while you're exerting a force. So this is how we're going to do it. You can do, uh, you know, anywhere from six to 12 reps like this. So this is exactly how we're gonna do it. Uh, our hands are gonna be sort of beneath our shoulders. Um, our elbows, when we come down, our elbows are gonna sweep sort of down and back. They're not gonna go, you know, straight out to the side like that. You're going to get in your good straight line position. You're going to contract your quadriceps. You're going to brace with your abdominals. You're going to be strong right through that chain. If push-ups, you know, maybe, oh geez, I haven't done those in a while. Just start from your knees. It makes no difference. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down for a count of two. One, two. We're going to hold here. One, two, three, four, five, and then a strong push up. And everything has to come up together. So you can't even grab your phone and shoot a quick video of yourself doing it because you might not even realize that you do, you know, one of these as you come up. If you're doing that, if you're sort of doing the worm, it just means you're not stabilizing with your torso, that your core, as it were, is the weak link in that chain. If you um, do sort of the old, like a bum up position, um, it just, you're kind of trying to shorten your lever a little bit, and you're probably also not getting all the way down. So you don't have to come down until your chest touches the floor. That can be a little hard on your shoulder sometimes, but come down until your chest would touch a yoga block. If there was a yoga block right here, I would come down until my chest touches that. I would hold one, two, three, four, five, and then push back up. And again, start with kind of six to 12. If those are too easy for you, put your feet up on a box or a bench or a step 
in your house that will make it more challenging and if that's still too easy for you just send me a DM and I'll give you some more ideas of how you can make that tougher for you. One of the really hard areas to train with just body weight if you don't have a, a chin up bar or a pull up bar in your house is, is, a, is a rowing motion, a pulling motion because we you know it, we other than doing a chin up or a pull up it's hard to do uh, without any kind of implement. So what we do in a pinch is we'll do um, a nice row, so an iso row. So I'm gonna lie on the floor, I'm gonna bring my elbows into contact with the floor, and I'm going to push straight back into the floor, almost as if I'm trying to lift myself up that way, but I'm not gonna lift myself off the ground. So I'm just going to generate that force, squeezing between my shoulder blades, driving my elbows into the ground. I'm gonna build that tension for a count of five, and then relax. Build that tension for a count of five, not letting your shoulders shrug up, and relax. And you're gonna start with 12 of those. Now, we just talked about building strong, usable muscles. And then we went and did sort of an isometric row. Is that functional? You know, you're saying, is that what, I, I don't need to do that on the ice. Yes, that makes sense. But we wanna balance things out. and. If you have a chin-up bar, you can do chin-ups because great exercise, build some shoulder stability, um, you know, obviously a big strength exercise. But for now, we want to make sure we're keeping our pushing and our pulling nice and balanced. Plus, a lot of you when you row, you do funny things or maybe you really rely a lot on your biceps to do that rowing. This is going to isolate it sort of in your mid-back and the back of your shoulders. Some of you are gonna be a little bit surprised when you wake up tomorrow or the day after and you're like, man, why, is, why am I a little sore between my shoulder blades? It's from doing this iso row. Now let's do something for your legs. So you can do this next one just using your body weight or you can hunt around the house and find an implement. I found this just in the basement, but if I feel it's only like quarter full now, but if I fill it all the way up with water, it's gonna be fairly heavy. Um, so you can definitely use that. You know, I would just hold it like this, make sure the lid's on so you're not spilling detergent everywhere. Uh, but just, yeah, kind of hold it in a goblet position here up almost underneath your chin. But what we're going to do is a sumo squat. And you're going to have to consciously engage your muscles a little bit here. So you're almost going to imagine that you're pulling yourself down into that position. Notice I have about a double to triple hip width stance. I'm pulling myself down into this position, keeping my knees spread out so that my knees are basically over my ankles. I'm actively using the muscles on the outsides of my hips to hold that position. And I'm just coming till my thighs are parallel with the floor. I've got a nice neutral back position and I'm going to hold for one two, three, for 10 seconds. Then I'm gonna come back up. And when I come back up, again, I'm sort of envisioning that I've got weight on myself or you know, I'm holding a barbell or holding that resistance and I have to press myself back up again. I'm creating that tension inside my muscles consciously. So I'm pulling myself down, getting in that position. I'm holding for one, two, three. So lengthening here, strengthening here. Then when I come back up, like I have a barbell on, pressing myself back up. And you're going to start with six to 12 repetitions of that. And I say six to 12, which is a huge range. It's not something we would typically have in a program, but you know, I know you're all different levels. So I want to give you something that you can all start with, but also something that's going to be effective. So if you do six, and you're really consciously generating that tension, but it still is a little bit too easy for you, then add a couple more repetitions. If you're doing 12 with a 10 second hold and you're generating tension, you know, even when I'm down here, I'm radiating, I'm squeezing my quads, I'm bracing with my abdominals, my shoulders are strong. Like if one of you came to give me a push, I wouldn't move at all because I'm radiating tension through my whole body. If you're doing 12 like that, radiating tension holding for 10 seconds and you're like no that's easy <laughs> you are doing it wrong <laughs> just, just 
I'm just saying. Uh, so there's a nice leg exercise that works our muscles in sort of an, our hips in an open position. So it's not like a neutral squat. We're not that often, you know, neutral position, neutral stance on the ice. Usually we are a little bit wider anyway. Let's us lengthen out our adductors a little bit and come down, build some strength on our outside of our hips, which are pushing muscles side to side. Really nice exercise, just call it a sumo squat. We hold that dumbbell or whatever our implement is in this position, we call it a goblet sumo squat. So that's the next one in today's mini circuit. I've got one more for you that, uh, again, on the surface it'll look pretty simple, but you're gonna struggle with it. And you're gonna be glad that, again, we've had this opportunity, this little blessing in disguise, to like, hey, I need to work on some of these basics. Maybe you are, work out in the gym all the time, you're really, really strong, you're gonna come to this exercise and realize, huh, I never actually thought of working on that because it's so simple. Here's what it is. And the last exercise of today's mini sequence is just a lateral hop and stick. So you're going to get nice and low in your ready position so that your knee is bent you know, to about a 90 degree angle is your starting position. So almost imagine like if you're in a nice low stance, we wanna start there or even a little bit lower because we wanna build that power. We're gonna get a quick, powerful push. So I don't want it to be a big like, like huge push because again, that's opening up all this space. We don't wanna build that habit when we're on the ice. We wanna get a quick, powerful push and then you're gonna stick your landing and you're gonna stay in that nice low position. You'll hold that for five seconds, four, three, two, one, and then a quick, powerful push. If you lose your balance a little bit, like I just did, you'll find it, get low, start your count. One, two, three, four, five, and push. Notice when I push, I just go right Everything just starts moving this way. Again, video yourself, because what you'll see is, because this is what I see every camp I go to, boom, you're gonna, you're gonna trail behind. Your upper body is gonna trail behind you. Or you're going to, you know, it'll be five, four, three, two, one, and you'll go, mm, and you'll dip and go. That all costs you time. So we're here, we're imagine, imagine that we're just on the post, we don't want to go slide across to the other post. We don't want to go, oh, time to move uh, and move. We want to be there, balanced, ready, balanced, ready. So a five second hold on each landing and you're going to do six on each side. This is a little bit higher volume than we would typically do if we were just building speed and power, but understanding that this is kind of a condensed workout. It's not like we have, you know, we're doing sets of squat laterals or things like that with resistance. So I'm gonna bump up the volume a little bit so we're still getting some good load through your legs. So that's habit two of the 10 pro goalie habits. And it's to build usable strength, which is strength, it, that you know not the kind of strength that you build when you're using machines leg press knee extensions that weird groin machine thing and so it's almost a blessing in disguise that a lot of us are locked out of our gyms because you can't sort of keep doing those things if you've been doing them to this point you have to try some different ways now that's not to say we just do body weight training with the pro goalies. Uh, we use resistance, we don't use machines, but we do use resistance training. The variables will be different, the reps and the tempos and the sets will be different depending on the phase of the season or the off season. But I want you to start experimenting with these different ways of training. And I want you to realize that you can make huge progress, even sort of being stuck at home and locked out of your gym. You know, there's the goalies that are sitting around just whining, oh, oh, sucks, blah, blah, blah. And then there's you, who's taking action, who's doing these exercises, even though when you watch the video, you might think like, oh, that's not very hard. I, oh, what I do is way harder than that. My goal isn't to make it as hard as possible. My goal is to help you, when we do get back on the ice, you know, to feel like, holy smokes, like, I feel way better. That was almost a blessing in disguise. So. 
That's the mission. That's what this is all about. Make sure you do it. So yesterday I gave you a great mobility circuit. Today it's a nice body weight strength circuit. So you can put these together to build yourself a nice little workout. I will be back tomorrow with another secret surprise for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, uh, but you know what? You might not want to have too big of a lunch before you watch it. That's all I'm going to say. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. We're going to get through this together. We're all in it together. I got your back. I will see you tomorrow.